So guys, I finally managed to drag myself out of the hotel. The 200 km cycle I did yesterday was by far the worst thing I've ever done in my life. And so I couldn't move this morning, couldn't move yesterday. Even now I'm struggling to walk or do anything really. But I've, I'm out of the hotel now, 2 p.m. almost, to make the most of this day here in Coventry. There's the same Sainsbury's just there, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go get some stuff for tomorrow. So I'm leaving tomorrow on my bike again. A good 120 kilometers to Sheffield. So I need some um, snacks and sandwiches and stuff. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do now. I didn't get too much stuff in the end from Sainsbury's because all the sandwiches and stuff like that have to be refrigerated. I don't have a fridge in my hotel. But I got some nice eclairs and a smoothie just for now while I'm walking around and enjoying the town. I'm probably gonna go to the cathedral at the start. It's nice, the sun is shining, really nice weather today. So I'm heading towards Coventry Cathedral now. It's not this one, this is Holy Trinity Church. I thought it was the cathedral at the start, because it looks like that. And I didn't really look on Google Images what it looks like. But this one, it still looks pretty good to be honest. That's the one there. That's the famous one. Three, um, 700 AD was the year it was built. So it's ancient, gothic, I think it's called. So this is it guys, this is the cathedral. Not just this here, but it goes all the way there. I'll show you. You can go to the inside and it's empty inside. I think it was demolished in hist over history. So it's really interesting because that is apparently the third highest cathedral spire in all of England um, behind Norwich and Salisbury which is pretty cool and I'll show you the inside now just here it's the biggest structure in all of Coventry and yeah you can tell It's like being in a castle. Literally, it's more of a castle than a cathedral, in my opinion. We are here, we've just been in the ruins and the cathedral. Oh, so that is the cathedral there. Those were just the ruins, but the big building is the actual cathedral. Now we're here, we're gonna go to this art gallery and then go like here and visit. Oh yeah, we need to go to Lady Godiva statue. So this is the Godiva I was talking about. In the city there's like a statue of a woman on a horse and apparently it's very famous in Coventry. It's based on a legend, I'm not sure what exactly. This is a painting of it. 
and apparently there's a whole section on it here. But yeah, this is the legend I was talking about. I don't know anything about it too much. So basically the story of Lady Godiva is that she begged her husband, who was like the Earl or the Prince, to get rid of taxes in the city of Coventry. And he said he'd only do it if she rode naked through the streets as a joke. And she actually did it, covered her, her face with her hair. Nobody even dared to look at her through the streets, apart from one guy peeping, peeping Tommy's cold who looked and he was turned blind as a punishment. So that's basically what the legend is about. And I've realised I've been saying it wrong. It's Lady Godiva, not Godiva. It's just me, me being Polish all the time and how I say things. someone can get such fine detail on pencil work amazes me. I just can't comprehend it on these two works here. These two have to be my favourite though, not gonna lie. The fine intricate detail on the hair strands, the shading. Also all the accurate precision on the cartoon, anime, manga, art. Yeah, amazing. All the it just blows me away how people can create such things so, so lifelike, bringing something out of nowhere into existence. So I'm just by Lady Godiva statue finally, took some pictures by it. This part is of the city is very thriving, vibrant, there's so many people all around. Feels busier than Cardiff, to be honest. Maybe it's just because I've not been here before.
the major shopping centres in Coventry. It's really nice. <laughs> Things are slowly closing, but I've been to different places and it's really good. Being open two days a week is like the worst business strategy you could have. I don't understand it. I can't go to the water park and go on the massive slides. Instead, I'm going to go to Coventry Canal, which I think is a nice attraction. place here guys the canals I took some photos of myself literally with my bottle and phone stood here because there's no one really to take photos but they turned out really well actually even better than what people were taking of me in the city they're still good but better but yeah now I'm probably going to head off um, to eat I'm gonna go to a steakhouse because I love um, every time I go out traveling, I always have to have steak, it's just a thing of mine, and have some drinks, and then I'll call that a day and go back to the hotel, because I have to check out early tomorrow, pack all my stuff, and then I have 122 kilometers to do to Sheffield, basically to home, but yeah, my next stop, Sheffield. So yeah, off to the steakhouse now. Look at that sizzling. Amazing steak, loved every bit of it. The way it was sizzling from the pan, something else. Now I'm gonna go get my sandwiches for tomorrow. Quarter, half past eight now, so it's pretty late. So quickly pop to the store, go on my goods for tomorrow now. Overnight, they should be fine without a fridge. And then tomorrow morning, and then pack myself, of course. And then tomorrow morning, leaving for my, the next step. 122 kilometers to Sheffield. So many Polish things in Tesco. Polish, Polish, Polish. Polish, 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 Polish. All these stuff. They're all Polish. So cool.
last night in our room. Got Andre Liu playing. <clears throat> Just packing myself. My bike's there. Yeah, packing myself. I got a Tesco meal deal. I can't work out if I should have it for breakfast tomorrow or if I should have it as a cycling snack, if you know what I mean. Cycling lunch. But then it's like, what am I going to eat for breakfast? I don't really have anything, do I? And I do want to get, get going as soon as possible. All I could do is, I could have a banana and say, a banana, hot cross buns, because I've got like four hot cross buns that haven't opened yet. A banana, four hot, two hot cross buns, and a strong black coffee from here. That could be a good enough breakfast, nothing, nothing too big, so we can get going as fast as possible. Yeah, that should be fine. And then have the rest later.